Hello and welcome to this short tutorial about creating and saving presets which are going to save you a great deal of time if you have to apply effects to multiple clips. This could almost be a follow on tutorial to our colour correction series because we're going to be using the same footage and effects that were used in secondary colour correction. However, the reason that this isn't part of the colour correction series is because presets can apply to any effects that you add. So it doesn't have to be colour correction effects. If you need to apply an effect and you get it right on one clip and you want to duplicate that effect on multiple clips, you save a preset and you apply that preset to follow on clips. Okay, so just to run through what we have with this particular clip again. If I actually select the footage, close contact footage, you'll see that we've got two effects applied. We've got the fast colour corrector and the three-way colour corrector. Now the three-way colour corrector was dealing with this bucket, if you remember. So if I undo that, you'll see that the bucket becomes very saturated. And the fast colour corrector is dealing with the colour cast that there is on the whole shot. If I just click that, you'll see. And the, um, the layer above this black video here is just a vignette, and I can actually physically turn that off. And then we have the original shot with its distinct colour cast and the red bucket, and we got rid of the colour cast, and then we got rid of the red bucket. Now the problem I have is that the camera that we used to film this particular shot had its white balance off for the whole of the day. So all the other shots that we actually took have got the same colour cast problem, and some of them are having problems with oversaturated colour as well. So let me just show you, for instance, we have here placing a hat place hats. Double click on that to open it in the source panel and you'll see it's got that same colour cast on it that we really need to get rid of. So how do we get rid of this colour cast without having to reapply the fast colour corrector and fiddle around with the settings to get it right? What we need to do is we need to save a preset. So what we can do is we can select the original footage that we had and go back to the effects control panel up here. Now we can see the effects that we used. Now we can choose either both of them or we can choose any one of them. I'm going to select both of them because what we did with the three-way color corrector to reduce the saturation on this red bucket will apply to any oversaturated red items in our clip, so it's not gonna hurt to have it applied. So the first thing I need to do is select both of these clips. So I click on the first one and I hold the control key on the PC or the command key on the Mac and make sure that the second one is selected. And then I go over to the panel menu up the top here, this series of lines with the drop-down arrow, click on that, and you'll see that I have an option here that says save preset. Now, if you haven't selected anything, that's grayed out. So you need to select all the things that you're going to include in your preset. So fast color corrector, three-way color corrector. And if you've changed things in motion, select that as well. I haven't actually made any changes in motion. That's scale, rotation, anchor point and position. I haven't changed any of those, so I don't need to select that. So I'll unselect that holding the control key or the command key. So I'll go up to the panel menu and click save preset and then it gives me an option to name it now this is very important because sometimes you will make a preset that is specific for a project that you'll never use again which might well be the case for this particular project because I probably won't have the same white balance problems repeated again and if I do have white balance problems I want to set up the fast color corrector to deal with those specifically with a new preset so I'm going to name this um, SS which was the name of the project it was slightly soiled color cast C O L being British O U R cast. And then it asks what type it's going to be. Is it going to be associated with scale? Anchor to the in point, anchor to the out point. Um, actually, for us, it doesn't matter. It's not varying. It's going to be all the way through. If you're anchoring it to the in point or anchoring it to the out point, it might be a fading in and animated effect as opposed to a static effect. Ours is a static effect that affects the whole of the shot, so I don't need to change the type. And then description, I'm just going to put dealing with the color cast problem with I think it was cam 1 and click OK. Now that has been saved as a preset and that preset has been saved down here in the effects panel where you apply effects. So if you go to the effects panel and you open up the presets you will see that right at the top we have one that says SS color cast and that's the one that we've just saved. There are a whole series of different presets, and I'll be doing a tutorial a bit later on to look at some of these. These are effects combinations that people have created to apply to your footage to give you special effects. For instance, PIP stands for Picture in Pictures. So if I was to bring in, say, another, let's um, bring in this piece of footage just for argument's sake and put it on the top, and I was to open up PIPs, 
and I was to open up one of these panels, I'm just going to go through this very quickly and put it there, you'll see that I've got a pip, a picture in picture. It's a little bit hard to see, but you can see down here I've got a picture in picture, and it's done it for me. I didn't have to scale or work it through. So presets can apply a whole series of effects to give you a particular look, and you have created one to deal with a color cast. I'm actually going to get rid of that piece of footage. I was just demonstrating what the uh, presets are all about. You can have a play with them. Now, if I have another piece of footage, and uh, let's have a little look at this place teapot. This is a good example. We have Mr. Wright looking around and placing a teapot. Have you noticed we've also got an oversaturated red in here? And we've got the color cast. So what we can do is we can take this shot from the source panel, and we can just drag it and drop it. If you hit the backslash key, you zoom out to show the whole of the timeline. And then we can go along, we can actually have a look at it, select it, and then we can go to our presets, we can take the SS color cast, click it, drag it, and drop it on the clip, and let go. Now we can see, thankfully, a before and an after. Here is what it looked like before, and if we move the timeline along, you can actually see that the teapot has been dealt with as well. Yes, this is a teapot. I know it looks like a post box, but it actually is a teapot with a teapot selection. So it's actually applied the effect to both. And if I think, well, you know what, I don't really want that, I can go to my effects control panel, and I can turn off the three-way color corrector, and I can actually have a much brighter looking red teapot. So that's without the effect applied, and that's with the effect applied. But it's just brought in both of the two items that I selected and dropped them onto the clip. I haven't had to do any additional work. I've simply taken the preset and dropped it onto the clip. So let's do one more here. Uh, we have hands placing. So let's look at the hands placing. Double click on that to open it in the source panel. Again, you can see we've got this terrible color cast on it. So we can drag it and drop it in our timeline. Put our cursor over it so we can see it. Click on it to select it. Grab hold of the preset and drop it on. And you can see we've got instantly a change that's been applied. All the settings that we set up in another clip much earlier on that we know work have been applied to this clip and it looks much better instantly. So that's how you can create a preset. You do it from the panel menu. You select, let me just go over it one more time. You select the effects. They don't have to be color effects. They can be any effects that you have changed, altered, or even animated. And then you can go to the panel menu when they've both been selected using the control or the command key. Panel menu, save the preset, rename the preset, put a bit of information in it, click OK. And then you can take the preset from your presets folder here in the effects panel grab the preset and apply it to any clip that you like. And then all the effects that you so carefully worked out before are instantly applied to the new clip. And also if you have them open in the source panel, you can see a before and an after. Well, I hope you found this tutorial valuable. Make a lot of use of presets. And when you've finished with them and you're not gonna use them anymore, you simply select it and hit delete and it's gone. Are you sure you want to delete the item? Okay, it's gone. You can always go back to the clip and say, actually, you know what, I wanted to keep those. They're still applied. You haven't actually deleted them from the clip. You've just deleted the preset. And you can select them again, and you can create a new preset if you want. Well, my name's Andrew Davis. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.